Good day, viewers. You are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Cha cha. News of the day. IPOP slammed soldiers over the Ilios killing of cyclists. The indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, has condemned the killing of a commercial motorcyclist, Mr. Chimobi Mwogo, in Obingwa, Abia State. He described the incident as unprovoked and unnecessary killing of Biafrans by the Nigerian army throughout Biafra. The slain motorcyclist, who hails from the same area with Governor Okizie Ikbazu, was shot dead following his refusal to offer 100 naira bribe to a military officer at a checkpoint. In a statement by the media and publicity secretary of the group, Mr. Emma Powerful, IPOP said the ugly experience was one too many. It added, this killing has taken another gruesome dimension since the rejection of Fulani Ruga settlement and National Livestock Program NLSP by Biafrans. Nigerian soldiers in their usual nonchalant way has killed another person. This time, one Mr. Chimobi Ngogo, a commercial motorcycle operator, over his refusal to give a bribe of 100 naira to them at a checkpoint in Obingwa, Abia State. We wish to reiterate that this unnecessary killing is one too many and must have attended consequences. It must be reciprocated at the appropriate time. It is very pathetic that Nigerian army would abandon their constitutional role of defending the borders of Nigeria from external aggression to descend into lowly criminality of extorting 100 naira for motor risk or countless checkpoints across Biafran land. The group lamented that it was not the first time fully armed Nigerian soldiers would be chasing after and tormenting innocent motorcyclists and bus drivers, including privates who are going about their normal business just for the sake of 100 naira. It said, the saddest part is that this illegal extortion racket at checkpoints across Biafran land is non-existent in the north where these soldiers come from. It warned government to redress the situation as such would no longer be tolerated by the people of the southeast zone. Thank you for listening to this news. And opinions are highly welcome for this news. Comment behind. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.